Hi, it's Beamer Zen, and in this video I will be answering a question from a subscriber. And the question is, can you replace the O-ring for the Valvetronic spring without removing the valve cover on the BMW's N42 or N46 engine? So this is an N42 engine that I have on my engine stand and since these engines are quite old now they get a lot of leaks and one of the possible leaks at the back is of course this o-ring right here. It's not very common but it can happen. The most common oil leak is this vacuum pump. I have a video how to solve that so I'm going to put it down in the description and up in the card. So a subscriber wrote to me and he said that he identified an oil leak here at the back of the engine. And of course, the next question is, can you remove this O-ring without removing the valve cover? So today I'm going to show you that this is sadly not possible. Now I'm going to remove the valve cover so I can show you a bit more clearly. As you can see, we have this aluminum piece right here. This is basically just a carrier for this Valvetronic spring that uh, pushes against the eccentric shaft. And uh, it's, of course, under tension. And uh, this piece has to seal against the cylinder head. So there's an O-ring here. Now, uh, to replace the O-ring, you have to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and take out the piece and replace the o-ring. So now I'm going to try and do that with the valve cover removed so we can observe what happens when we do that. So we can use 8 millimeter Allen key to keep the piece under tension so we can remove the bolts. I'm going to show you how to do that. First you can see that I've put a mark here and that's because I want to know how much this uh, carrier rotates when we remove the bolts. So I'm going to put the Allen key here and I'm going to keep it under tension. Now I'm going to remove one of the bolts. Okay, now I really have to hold this under tension. If I don't do that, when I unscrew the bolt uh, far out enough, it will uh, damage the cylinder head because it will be under tension. So make sure that you put some tension on it. Okay. Now we can release the tension slowly. And now we can observe what happens to the spring when we remove the carrier. And as you can see, the spring just basically falls into the engine. And that's why you can't replace this small little o-ring without removing the valve cover because when this happens there is basically no way you can align it from the back of the engine in correct orientation and then insert the carrier without disturbing the spring as you can see there's just no realistic way to do this. Even if you manage to hook up the spring on the carrier like this. Let me show you. So the spring is now hooked. And when you tension the carrier, it might tension against the valve cover itself instead of the eccentric shaft. So definitely not worth the trouble. Remove the valve cover and do this job. It sucks, I know. And if you do that, it's a good idea to replace the vacuum pump seals as well. I have a video on that. Uh, I will put it down in the description and up in the card. And I'm also going to put part number for this uh, O-ring down in the description. So now let's see how this works. There is a cutout here on the carrier and there's a bend on the spring and this basically just hooks up and it keeps the spring in place. So 
after you replace the o-ring and clean the surface align the spring like this give it a bit of a rotation so if you have a mark here you can go about 100 degrees this is where both pieces align and then you take your allen key and you tension the carrier and you keep it under tension make sure that this bolt is all the way in so the thread doesn't get damaged and now we do the same for the other bolt you will have to apply some more tension on the carrier to get the bolt in correct position okay so that's basically it you have to torque the bolts to 10 newton meters and then you have to reinstall the valve cover. I have plenty of videos on how to do that, so make sure to check it down in the description or up in the card. This is it, this is a very quick video. And if you have any more questions, uh, you can put it down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them. So uh, thanks for watching, consider subscribing and liking the video. So uh, in the meantime, keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.